Okay, it's Saturday. Uh, I went to the Meadowlands today, but I am home early uh, because look at that sky. It rained like three times. It pretty much killed the market. It didn't rain super hard, uh, but enough to, to be annoying and chase everybody away. Anyway, um, this is what I bought there today. Uh, my quest to make a lot of money to pay my dentist uh, was unfulfilled. Um, I, I, to be honest, I might have gone home with about the same amount of money as I, as I got there with, uh, but I don't really blame the market. It, it's, it was the weather today. Uh, anyway, let me just go through what I got. Um, I bought a bucket of uh, games and game-related things. <laughs> What's that word? Um, from one of the other vendors who was there today. And I'm going to show that, and then I'll show everything else. To so be honest, I didn't even look at it. Um, he was like, he actually, I, I looked at it roughly. I was like, you know what, I, I can't deal with this stuff. I wanted to make money, and a lot of this stuff is stuff that's, that I don't personally sell or it's hard for me to sell. So I said, look, I don't want it, so I'm going to offer you 50 bucks. And uh, he said, well, look, the bottom, because they were like making an offer, and I'm like, what do you want? Just tell me. And then I could do the math in my head, right? But they said, look, the bottom is 70, and... So I said, hey, you know what, fine, I'll just buy it, and I'll figure out what I have later. Anyway, a lot of this is going to my friend. You know who you are. Um, so you're getting all of these. And um, L.A. Noir uh, Guide, Bioshock Infinite Guide. I can't deal with these. Uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Guide. Limited Edition Strategy Guide, Grand Theft Auto Five. Very nice. Nice cover. Uh, Sims 2 Pets. I'm not willing to deal with this stuff at the flea markets. Um, they they, they want to buy them for like a dollar or so. So my friends are willing to put them online and sell them for five or ten. Uh, most of the stuff I bought, I'm not, it's not even for me. I'm not even going to take any of it out. Um, here's a Pokemon Trainer's Guide. You're getting that. Here's a CD backup RAM cart. Oh, I've never seen this. Uh... Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now, everything I'm showing you uh, that's game-related, I paid 74 So, it's probably a, an okay deal, but it's it's like a bunch of... There, as far as I know, there shouldn't be any home runs in here. Uh, it should just... Because I'm... I'm oh, here we go. Gears of War. Okay. I put newspaper in the bucket because everything was wet. Sims 2... Sega Genesis Instruction Manual, Guild War Fractions, Doom 3. Here's another book with the cover. Sorry, this is taking so long. I didn't look at any of this stuff. I'm doing it now. Some kind of game. Uh, God damn it. What the, okay, let's do this. Um, defend the flag. I never heard of that game. They sure put a nice book out for it. So anyway, uh, Ratchet and Clank, A Crack in Time, more Sega CD stuff, The User's Guide. Um, again, my friend Wood will sell that for me. Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, uh, World of Warcraft, another World of Warcraft. These guides have value, but, you know. Um, and then a Nintendo DS headshot, Micro cask nintendo okay that's different languages okay this is part of it um it's compatible well it is nintendo it's sealed in the package it's probably worth like five bucks or so okay so that's that bucket it all, actually all the stuff came in this bucket but i i bought my car was loaded when i went to the market and i had so much stuff i didn't even have room to fit anything in there here's a a broken kindle and your friend can sell it for parts. So, so far, everything in this bucket, uh, my friend's getting a, a double dribble game that should have, like, uh, very little to no value. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> okay, this is worth, like, I don't know, 8 to $10 to me. Well, that's good. Um, Sega CD game. You know, I, to be honest, I didn't even look to see if games are in here. I don't know if they're empty cases. I don't know if the games are in terrible condition. Well, the case is bent. Okay, I'm not going to screw this right now. All right, so a Sega C... Oh, dang it. 
Okay, here's a, this field, there's the games in there. So here's a football Madden in the box. Very valuable game. Uh, Sonic 2, complete. Uh, you, I'm giving it to my friend. I'm not taking it to the flea market. Um, Dave Robinson, Supreme Court, giving it to my friend. I'm going to stop saying, giving it to my friend. Uh, double switch, Sega CD. Okay. okay let's see. So I don't know, you think it was worth 70 bucks so far? Buzz Jr. This game is unsellable. Uh, I will give it to my friend. I can't sell it. Monsters vs. Aliens. I'll take that. Yeah, it's in there. Uh, NCA Football 12. PlayStation 2. Actually, I'll, I'll deal with this. I'll sort it out later. Okay, um, PlayStation 2. Soccer. People like soccer. I, there's a chance I can sell that. Um, Madden 2004. Monster Garage. Xbox. Smackdown. Bring it on. Featuring The Rock. Smackdown. 2008 versus Raw. Madden 09. Xbox 360. Pizza Delivery Boy. I'm, I'm, I'm sure these games are worth like, like three to five dollars. Um, SpongeBob SquarePants, Globes of Doom. Let's see. I just want to. Eh, it's pretty clean. Okay. That's that's. I to be honest, like I said, I was very busy today. I didn't even check to see if the games were clean or like nice condition. I got to do all this later. Here's an iToy game. Nobody uses the iToy. It's unsellable. Nobody has the iToy. PS2. Um, Blitz 2003. Nothing too exciting so far. But actually, my friend will make money on this stuff. And then um, we'll share. 2004. Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. Arctic Thunder. Here's a PC game that goes straight to my friend. I don't sell them at the flea market. Guitar Hero, uh, an unsellable game for me. Knight Rider. Oh, it's a Nintendo game. Cool, with a box. I'm, I'm probably just going to give that to my friend. Okay, there it is. It's, it, the game is in there with the box. Okay, uh, let's see. Here's a Chrono Trigger. Uh, the soundtrack. <laughs> I would have I liked to get the game. Somebody might buy this, though. You know, so things like that are sellable. Jeopardy looks like an NES in the box. I'm just going to give it to my friend. You know. Oh, I pulled this out. Um, this is a game I took out. It's a, It was a, a Blockbuster exclusive game, but it's Nine Holes of Xmas. It's a golf game. I had it at the flea market forever, and I, I was looking through the book, and I saw that. I'm like, oh, I'm, let me give that to my friend. Uh, Call of Duty MW3 PS3 game. That's cool. PlayStation 2 ESPN Football. Modern Warfare 2, Xbox 360, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, Siphon Filter 3. Games like like um, the Loose Disc, I'll sell for a few dollars. Here's a Sega CD, Server Shark. I'll give that straight to my friend. PlayStation Demo Disc. Mm. Magic, The Gathering, Battle Mage. Here's an intern. Games like these have like no value. The only place you can sell them is online. I don't really like PS1 games either in terms for selling. There's some great games for playing. Battle Arena, Toshiden, uh, Toshiden, S Sanders, maybe Bernie Sanders. Um, Spot, Goes to Hollywood. Final Fantasy Con Conflict, uh, C Chronicles, Chrono Trigger. Oh, maybe this goes with this. Chrono Trigger. Maybe that has something to do with each other. Put that there. Action Man! You know, a friend of mine, when they were a kid, they had Action Man underwear. I didn't know Action Man was a real thing. Jared and Labonte stock car racing. UM Jammer Lammy. That looks like fun. I bet you that's a fun game. Um, Tomb Raider. Tony Hawk Skater 4. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Tennis. Battle Arena Toshiden. That's probably a lot of fun. Annoying. All right, um, Fight Night Champion. Uh, if I put this in a case, I could probably get eight to ten dollars for it. 
if I don't have the case, I'll still, it's a, it's a good game. People will want that one, as long as it's clean. All right, let's try that again. Um, Devil May Cry 3. Devil May Cry is a, a hella fun game, um, but it doesn't sell for much. Resident Evil Outbreak. Loose Crash Bash. If this works, I can probably get $10 for it on Amazon. Uh, this is this is a common game. It goes in my common book. Fight Night Right in 3. Uh, unsellable. It's Elmo Counting 1, 2, 3. Driver. NBA Live. Madden. As you could see, for $70, you're going, okay, well, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, a lot of it's nonsense, though. A lot of it's stuff that is uh, table filler. Uh, Grand Theft Auto by City. Socom Navy Seals. Uh, NBA 2K 12 PS3. Now, I still have more stuff, actually. All the stuff in that bucket, mostly. Um, it includes this PlayStation 3 DualShock um, in the box. Unfortunately, I'm sure the box is worth more than the PlayStation, but it did come with the controllers and stuff. Um, this has nothing to do with what I bought today. It's, it's starting to get a little dark out here, so I'm going to have to, like, um, go quickly. But I bought this... Um, I'm, I'm not. I, I can't wear this. It's it's gross and filthy. It's uncleanable. The plastic in the rim is, is all cracking and breaking. This and that. But the patch is good. I mean, I'm sure it could be cleaned and trimmed a little bit. Uh, if this were super clean, I bet you it'd be worth, I don't know, fifty bucks or something like that. I could take that patch off. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. Uh, here's a aftermarket PS1 controller. Here's an Xbox 360. Oh, you know what? I just ordered a bunch of backs and cables for charging on this. If the controller's good, I got a good controller. That's like 10 bucks easy. I'll give this to my friend. I don't. I can't sell aftermarket stuff. So I'll give this to my friend. That's the panel. Um, here's a stick NES Advantage. I will give this to my friend. Uh, okay. Here's a. Oh. I didn't know it was so dirty. Here's a dirty NES. Maybe it works. If it doesn't work, I'm giving it to my friend. Okay. So you see what I'm saying? It's like, if that works, then, then that's great, right? But there, I'm almost positive. There's like no way in hell it's going to work. Here's another power brick. Um, uh, that's worth like five bucks to me. This is something that I want to show later. That bag there. And this is something else. And Okay, let me keep going. All right. It's, I, this is a throwing controller. Okay. Oh, an old Coleco power supply. You know what? I bet my friend can sell that for at least ten bucks. I, of course, I won't be able to sell it at the flea market. I don't get anybody ever asking me for Coleco. Here's a, a box with the case. I'm just going to give it to my friend. I'm, you know, I can't do anything with that. Um, another Coleco controller that goes to my friend. An Atari controller. Uh, keyboard controllers. I don't know if these are for Atari or Coleco. Atari. Goes to my friend. I'm telling you, out of this box, there's like almost nothing. I'm going to take a few of the, the loose games. I'm going to take, uh, I don't know, that, that memory stick. Here's an AV for the old school TV. I'll give that to my friend. More Atari stuff. Yeah, Atari paddles. Brian Friend could probably sell those online. He's going to be busy with all this low. Here's the other um, Coleco controller. Uh, what's this? This would be good, except that I don't think the game or whatever it's supposed to be in here is in here. So I don't know. What do you think? You tell me. 70 bucks? I'm, I'm almost done. Is it a good deal? I guess it is, right? As long as I'm patient. Patient. Okay, Defiance. I think everything in here, except for the game. And I, I really don't know what this is. But whatever. Okay. Let me see. See, here's the God of War. There's no PS3. There's no case in there or anything like that. It's basically a box for people that, like, beat up boxes. All right. Uh, this is... You know what? I'll take care of that later. All right. And this is the last... A PS1 controller, and this is a Nintendo... Uh, scope I guess no a microphone all right okay so I'll put that there all right here's the other stuff I got uh, I got those two paintings 
you know what? I'll do the paintings class. I got this. This is called, I like glass. I know a little bit about glass. This is Fenton Coin Spot glass. Uh, I know it's dark. You might, here, put in the light. But those dots there, it's like, it's got an optic. This one has a line in it. Not damaged, not a crack. I paid 20 for this. I don't see anything wrong with it. You know, it's dark. This is old. This stuff goes back, I don't know, probably 60 or more years. Um, I probably have to sell it online. I paid 20 I could probably flip it for 35 to 40 uh, eventually. As long as I don't break the handle off. If I put it online, it's probably worth 100 I don't know. I have to, design, you know, I have to make sure. Uh, here's the, uh, what's this? Okay, and then I'll do the painting. Oh, uh, I bought this with the paintings over there. This is basically a nice old uh, folk art box. Um, I can't sell this at the flea markets I go to. But you can see it's got um, hand-carved decoration on it. Sorry, it's getting dark. i got to hurry. Uh, there's the inside. Someone made this, you know, a person. Not a factory. Not Japan. I don't know. I paid $5. Uh, to the right market, it's probably like a $30 box, but I don't, I don't believe I'll get it. Um, this is really cool. Uh, this is if you like Asian, antique Asian stuff. Just do this. Uh, that's either top or bottom. Like I said, I, uh, I'm doing this. I'm taking long... I'm going to put some videos together with this. I made one other video at the flea market. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, but this is this is Clause in A. And it's it's silver. So it's either a low-grade silver. No markings, nothing. It doesn't say China or anything. So I know it's old. Um, there's the dragon. Okay. There's his body. I didn't see any damage. I didn't look super carefully. But it was only a dollar, you know. So I didn't want to be a dick. And, uh check it too too hardly harshly i would have paid more for this I'm not really sure what i would have paid you know I, this isn't the kind of thing that's easy for me to sell it's going to wind up online most likely but it's definitely nice it's a nice antique beautiful piece okay uh the last thing i'm going to show that i got uh let's say i paid five for the box oh and i paid a dollar for that i paid 20 for that i think i went through prices so i can do the math later um i bought these two paintings <laughs> This one, he's a little further away. This one is a winter snow sled scene with children, and the artist is K. Heffelfinger. That's a Heffelfinger. Okay, that's a weird name. Uh, okay, it said K. I thought it said K, but it's obviously it's Robert Heffelfinger. H e f f e l f i n g e r. He's from Pennsylvania. Dimak Penna. I don't know what. 18816 means that's his codes I guess look he painted it upside down on the back thing. Uh, yeah it's our Heffel finger Heffel finger okay this painting is by the same artist Robert Heffel finger um, this one will probably be easier to sell this is the right time of year to sell this and it's charming um, but this one I don't know if you can tell, but it's an antique store. See the sign there says antiques, uh, antique furniture, and uh, it's unfortunately it's closed. Hopefully not forever. And there's some like statuary, statuary there, and a frame leaning on that. I don't know if they were having a sale or something like that. Just a nice uh, painting. I'll look up the artist if he's anybody. Um, that'd be great, uh, but I doubt. I doubt he's anybody important. Okay, that's it. That's what I got. Plus, I'm going to show some jewelry, and then I'll show my uh, how I had to cover it because it was rink, but I needed to do the video for my setup anyway. But that's that's it for Saturday. Okay, here's some jewelry you got. Yeah, it's a pin. It's gold filled with uh, screw back earrings. The Wedgwood. Is that what yeah. it says there? Yeah, it's okay. Wedgwood, and it's a Very Cupid. Nice. It's oh, a yeah, little okay. um, mother of pearl um, fan pin. Very nice. It's one of those porcelain bone, china, and bone yeah. china. A mosaic cross. That's actually a nice one. The design on it's very nice. These are uh, Swarovski. Hold on. Swarovski crystal earrings. Yeah. 
And this is a Christian Dior necklace with the leaves. Okay, not bad. And then this is a sterling silver tennis bracelet. Very good. Very good. So that's it? Yeah. And okay. he knew this was silver. I mean, I got to yeah, I guess he just didn't care. It. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to film my stupid space just so I can, like, uh, describe what tables I have out. You know? But isn't Even, that nice, the stuff I No, it's very nice. These. these are really pretty. Beautiful. Yeah. Wait, okay, what? I'm going to I'm gonna do this in one video. All right, I'm at the Meadowlands. It's, it's annoying. It's raining on and off today, right? This is my space. Uh, I put out a fair amount of stuff. I might be able to uncover and sell a little bit more unless everybody splits. But here's what I did for future reference. One big brown table. Jo wife had jewelry there. Then I used uh, my, my, other, my larger white table. Then here I used a white table. Uh, again, my larger one. Then I put a smaller size white table um, at an angle. Here, it's kind of like a longer view, right? Then what I did was I made a row, so it's kind of like uh, an L with a gap in it. I put the two small black tables at the end over here, and then I put miscellaneous stuff there. And then I put all glass here, and I had systems out, but I put them away because I, they're just getting wet right now. Um, today, so far, has been mediocre. Um, it's the winter, so he's only charging 50 bucks to set up uh, for January and February, right? Um, here's more stuff. I want to throw plastic over that because that's getting wet. And uh, yeah, that's my space, so I know how to set up in the future.